Welcome to Melanin and Halbinoid Live. I am Lady Abimbola. Welcome to today's vlog. Well, those of you that have followed me this, this far, you know my vlog is all about the gang stalking program, um, the racist system, and the abuse of the human race. Well, when I started my, um, my blog, actually, it was based on um, the injustice I saw um, against my race in particular and against the human race entirely. And of course, for some personal, um, some personal experiences, I had also an unwarranted attack persecution and uh, slander so i wondered what really is the problem what is the hatred towards the melanin race all about well um i've been angry over it i've been upset over it i've been I reacted you know in all kind of way humanly possible but i realized that this is far more than a physical hatred it is more spiritual manifesting in the physical so what whatever actually originates from the spiritual level has to do with a divine purpose well like you all know i talk about the racist system a system or rather a thing if you call if you talk about racism most people right now say oh my god it's the 20th, 20th century but after the recent killings the assassinations the public persecution the public execution of the melanin men most people that want to like shy away from the racist system or from the racist situation now kind of begin to like move in and think really this is not a problem we have to shy away well as long as we continue to shy away from the racist system we pretend it's not there we act as if it doesn't exist we we pray it off or we think no not pray pray it off yes we need to pray it off but we assume it will just disappear it's not going to happen it is a system intentionally established okay now i'm going deep far back into creation first of all to start with the ideal ideology that jesus christ is of halbinoid race is a total falsehood it's a lie fabrication exaggeration invention and a you know bold face lie jesus christ is not white is not of albinoid race now i will tell you why the lie came up so many years ago you know um well decades centuries of years of course after the um the death of christ the albinoid race who actually originates from the melanin race but for whatever their reasons they they lost their melanin and of course as they you know recreate procreate and begin to make you know offsprings their offsprings had that genotypes of very little melanin that's why you have the albinoid race today the, mel uh, the, the melanin race is the original race is the original race but for the truth to be covered there has to be an attack of identity of the melanin per constant persecution to keep us mentally um chaotic because as long as you go to continuous persecution, harassment, and 24-hour surveillance as if we're criminals, it's meant to make us anxious, to place us in a panic mood that will never actually have a moment of peace to think of the fact that we are actually the original race. We are actually the ones that should be in control. We are actually the one that should call the shots and not the one begging 
to be heard well now let's go back to creation first of all jesus christ is the son of god we all agree to that he came is his son uh god the son he came here on earth okay you, we know god is a spirit okay man is a spirit we have a soul and we live in this body so when jesus christ came to this head he lived in the body of clay that god said in the book of genesis when god created the earth he followed his own principles he believed speak it into existence formed and he created in genesis 1 26 to 31 god spoke his plan into existence he visualized all his plans for man before he physically made man in genesis chapter 2 verse 7. he spoke about creating man and he formed man with clay clay we know is of a dark skin of a dark nature okay now we we'll proceed from that step one clay humans was created from clay god created humans from clay clay is of dark nature that's point number one number two when jesus came on this earth he came and he he came through a woman called mary mary the mother of jesus is not albinoid is of dark skin mary was a first century galilean jewish woman of nazareth the wife of joseph the mother of jesus christ is from a jewish descendant okay and this woman from a jewish descendant auto automatically means that because the jewish are dark skinned forget i will tell you about stolen identity so many things on just things has been done to the melanin race our identity has been stolen our nation israel we have been forced out of our nation and we have impersonators actually taking possession of our nation israel and we are actually scattered all over the world the bible says that well jesus christ the son of the most high god is an appearance you know is dark jesus came is not white jesus is dark jesus is melanin skin the melanin race is the original race the melanin race is the pure race the melanin race is god's own people the melanin race is the israelite god chosen people now i place this here in my office i meditate on this every day i can't go past this scripture because it bugs me day and night because as i make research on the racist system you will know why we're really hated we are hated um you remember abraham the promise of abraham hannah you remember hagar the slave the bond woman who had a child for abraham because anna did not give back to um a, a, a son in time anna created uh sarah created all this sarah created all this situation because of the bond child now it's like the born child is now the one after the bond child is now the one after the promised child we the melanin people are the promised children now the bond the children of the bond child of the of the bond woman wants to exterminate all of us in order to take possession of our own inheritance now let me walk you through some things in the bible i found out okay this is just my own research i don't have a moment of rest i walk through it day and night there is a determined the, the determination to exterminate the melanin people there's no doubt about that they are destroying our men they are taking our men out of the way they're incarcerating our men and of course a, 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 you know exterminating them publicly now the the police 
practice their physical strength and their shooting abilities on the melanin people. There is a war against the melanin people and I will show you some things I found out. For example, in the book of Romans, Romans chapter 1 verse 16 and 17, it says, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is, you know, Apostle Paul, you know, he wrote most, a majority of uh, the, the New Testament and of course John also, you know that. I hope you know that. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of, of Christ. Let me use my ruler. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. I hope you can read it also. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believes to the Jews first and also to the Greek. That is another explanation. But to the Jews first. You know, before I finish the verse, the, that everyone, God's unto salvation to everyone that believes to the power of God's unto salvation, to everyone that believes to the Jews first and also to the Greek, and thereof is the righteousness of God revealed. The righteousness of God is revealed through the melanin race. Now, we have gone through years of oppression, enslavement, okay? Oppression, enslavement, 24-7 persecution, harassment, psychological torture, emotional distress, unjust, inc foul, uh, unjust incarceration, falsify, fal falsified poli police report to place us in a class with a bad name. Why is there so much battle against the melanin race? Why is so much hatred against the melanin race? Why is so much bitterness, contention, hatred, and oppression against the melanin race? Why are we being maligned from the society? Why are we being forced into a class with a bad name? Why are we being psychologically tortured, emotionally distressed, and continuous physical harassment and assassination? Uh, not assassination, it's a public execution of the melanin race. Well, the reason is that we are the promised child. If you look at the Old Testament, when Jesus told the Israelites, the melanin people, the Jews, we are the Jews. Okay? They have actually stolen our, 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 our they, not just persecuting us, not just harassing us, not just stealing from us, not just enslaving us, but they actually have stolen our identity. Our identity has been stolen. Our land has been taken from us. We've been pushed up of our land and they've created a new nation of Israel. Now, the Bible says until until the original Israelite, we go back to our land, that there will be no peace in the Middle East. And that is why nothing can happen in the Middle East until we, the melanin people, the original Israelites, go back and possess our land. When we possess our land, it's an automatic peace. Because as long as the children of God have been relocated to somewhere else, we've been, put, we've been scattered all over the world. Now, let me prove, you know, things to you that probably will shock most of you. Do you actually know we actually educated the albinoid race? But you see, they write so much book, they frustrate um, melanin writers, they uplift the albinoid writers. Don't misunderstand me. This is not an attack on the albinoid people. Because oh, I see people, oh, you're talking about racism, you're racist, you hate white people. You don't get it. You, you know why you are hungry? Because you are the one that is racist. Because if you're not angry, listen to what I say. I am against the racist system. I am not against the albinoid people. That is just the thing. I will talk whether you are angry or not. I will speak whether you like it or not. I will continue to talk about the racist system whether you understand me or not. I am not an anti-albinoid. I will repeat, hi, Lady Abimbola, I am not 
anti habinoid I am anti the racist system. And if you are back up the racist system, if you are for the racist system, if you defend the racist system, if you don't see anything wrong in the racist system, then I'm talking about you. Then you can be uncomfortable about what I say. Then you can be angry about what the message I'm passing. But as long as you are against an evil system, an unjust system, an hateful system, a system of destruction, a system of assassination, a system that destroys another human. If you're against it, well, you will understand me. But if you are not against the racist system, then you can be offended. It, it, you know, it does not bug me. So, first of all, they call us, we are dumb, we are dummies, we are these, and what, what. Listen, we, the melanin people, educated the Arbinoid. We educated the Europeans. The Europeans did not educate us like they want to make it look like. We educated the Europeans. The Europeans, the first, first of all, the first university in the world is the Sankore University in Timbuktu, the capital of Mali. In the 13th, 13th BC century, the melanin Jews, the melanin Jews, the melanin Jews that left Israel. I've spoken about this before in the in the past. Because I get emotional about because I go to persecution here. I go to persecution, slander of my character, theft of my property, court cases that is manipulated. I've been beaten up by the law enforcement agent for nothing. They just wanted to set me up for trouble, to, to incriminate me. They didn't find any opportunity. They created an opportunity them, themselves to lay their hands on me. So, you know, sometimes when I talk also, maybe I've just been beaten up, maybe I've just been aroused, maybe I just lost my own, maybe I just, you know, I, I've been moving a lot. So I've been going through a lot on my own personal side. I don't say it here. I don't say it here. Because I'll be giving power to the enemy by regurgitating what he's doing to me. As he's harassing me, harassing my business, harassing my work. Now, the melanin Jews... In Israel, Jesus warned them about the invasion of the Roman Empire. When the Romans come to the Israel, you know the Roman Empire was a very mighty empire then, okay? But when they came to Israel, when, if they see them coming, Jesus advised the Melanie people to flee. Don't fight with them. Don't even contend with them. Don't even discuss with them. Just flee. Because this is a battle that I probably has not been given to be won. So flee. The book of Proverbs says they stand for everything. They stand for what they stand for peace. They stand for you to run and they stand for you to remain footed. I learned that also. The time to go for war, the time to seek for justice, the time to fight, the time to make peace, the time to retreat, the time to watch from afar. Now, when the Roman Empire, uh, the Roman armies came to Israel, the Roman army captured some, some, some Israelite, you know, listened to what Jesus advised and fled. Those are the ones that fled to, towards Africa. Okay? And the some remained, they were, some were killed, and some were taken as a prisoner of war. The Colosseum you see today, the, what happened in the Roman, uh, in, at Rome, the Colosseum, everybody comes, the tourists come to look at, that is the history of the Colosseum. The gladiators were the, the Melanin Jews. So it's been long they use us as, a, as an object of shame, an object of entertainment, an object of public execution to mock us. The, the ones they took to back to them as a prisoner of war, you know, as a prisoner of war in the, at the Colosseum and they entertained themselves, you know, using them as gladiators. They kill, when gladiators are two human beings, you throw them 
in the Colosseum, they will fight. One, one must be dead. So two of them will fight with desperation because if you kill me, I mean, if you don't kill, I mean, if I don't kill you, you will kill me. So both of them will fight for one to die. But that's not just a joke on them because the one that win will still fight someone else. So when you fight someone else, someone else will still kill you. If number one did not kill you, number two will kill you. So they used, they mocked the melon people. And the one that escaped. Now, let me take you back to Egypt. If you read the Bible, if you're a Christian, if you're a Muslim, probably you don't understand this. If you go back to the Bible, I don't want to make this video so much long, but I'll just quickly rush it. If you go back to the Bible, in the, um, uh, during the Egyptian slavery, when the melanin people, everything they touch turned to gold. We built the whole of Egypt with our hands. Even American White House, when they took us to, for slavery there, we built the White House with our hands. They don't tell the truth. History is a lie. History, is, The history books is a lie. The history book is a joke. The history book is actually a defying the white supremacy and reducing the, the melanin Jews to nothing. We are the scholars. We are the educated ones that educated the Europeans. Now, talking about the European, I live in Central Europe myself. I see what it is happening here. The Europeans, actually, they migrated to America. They met the original America, the Red Indians. They took them as slaves after some trickery and everything. They took them as slaves to cultivate cotton. And when they saw other things and they didn't have enough workmanship, they talked about the melanin Jews that fled to Africa and they went to look for them because they remember they're very good with their hands. They built Egypt. We can make them build America and other places they actually took the, the slaves to. So when they went back there, they went to places like Tunisia to look for those melanin Jews that ran, ran to Africa. But these same melanin Jews have already occupied West Africa in particular. Most of the West Africans are filled with the melanin Jews. And I will probably say, I'm for the, I'm a, I'm a citizen of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in West Africa and a melanin Jew. Don't let, and you see, the first thing they try to do is actually to, to de-identify us. You remember when Joseph's brother, they sold him to slavery. They stripped him of his identity. But it's only God, divine mercy, that can take us back to the promised land. We have a spiritual battle against us as a race. The hatred here is the children of the bond woman are fighting us, but they're backed up by spiritual forces. They will continue to exterminate the melanin race they will continue because they need to take away the melanin men so the melanin women don't have a covering we don't have anyone to protect us we don't have any covering look at every race the only race that ridicule their women are the melanin men out of frustration out of stupidness out of craziness out of racist system mind control out of what i don't understand but they are the only ones that ridicule their women the women in in return they rebelled and start hating the melanin men and start going for the albinoid men not necessarily for love for more of security because the racist system has perverted the melanin men so much. They've destroyed their image so much. They, they, they humanize the melanin men so much that even the melanin women do not, not everywhere, I, I, I am not part of those women. Don't respect them again. I know there are some crazy men, whether albino or melanin, it doesn't matter. There are some really crazy men that you don't want to have nothing to do with. But there has been a serious work a work, a, a strategy, a program of destruction established against the melanin people and in particular the melanin men. The, me the greatest weapon used against the melanin men is the melanin women. The women that are supposed to be a helpmate for the melanin men uh, is now a thing of trophy for other races. It's now reproducing, recreating offspring for another race 
while he's actually, he's actually participating in the genocide of the melanin people. The new nation of Israel was declared on the 14th of May, 1948, by David Ben, Gurion, the executive head of the Zionist organization, and soon to be the first prime minister of Israel. Now, you see why the Zionists are claiming they are the Jews. They are just impersonators. The Zionists are impersonators. They actually created the new nation of Israel in 1948 because they drove us out of our land and took over our identity as a nation. While the persecutors, while they harass us, while the, while the police beat us up, kill our men, incarcerate our men, mind control our children, brainwash our children, seduce our women to reproduce for the men and albinoid men, albinoid men, albinoid race, and make and frustrate the melanin men. The melanin men are the most unloved men on earth. That's why every any, any other race can take them away easily with the bait of love. Because the melanin women has been mind control to hate is a whole king. We are a race that has been targeted. It is not just a physical battle. It is a spiritual battle. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray. You see, the melanin race, we have been stigmatized so much. We have been, we have been criticized. We have been ostracized. We have been blackballed. We have been mentally incarcerated. We have been ambushed for so long. We have been harassed for too long. That there's a, there's a mental stupor to most melanin. We need to humble ourselves and go back to our creator for him to intervene. It's not something we can do. Has the justice system ever helped us? Yes, we can we can send to, if we, we we can send to jail a policeman, two policemen, or whatever that wronged us or whatever, but it does not destroy the system. There's still a racist system established against us. If my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then I would hear from heaven. I would hear from heaven. I will listen to them. I will heal their land. Our land needs to be healed from the blood the Zionists, the impersonators, are actually spilling in the land of Israel. We need to pray. Remember the Bible says, pray for Jerusalem. They that pray for Jerusalem. What did the Bible say? Now, the book of Psalm 122, verse 6 says pray for the peace of jerusalem they shall prosper that love thee you see god wants us you say the racist system no matter the hatred we display no matter what we say no matter the justice system no matter black life matter all life matters this life matters this life matters it will not change anything God wants us to go on our knees and fight the demonic system established against his people, the melanin race. They that pray for Jerusalem, they will prosper. Anybody at all, even if a Muslim pray for Jerusalem, they will prosper. That is a commandment. Anybody that prays for the peace of God, we need to pray for God to restore back our land. So the imposters can get their life away from our land. And we, the melanin Jews, the real Jews, can go back to our land. 
We can get rid of the imposters and the real children of God can go back. When David Byrne, the first, the, the first prime minister of Israel, who is the executive head, the Gurion, the executive head of the Zionist organization, when he became the first prime minister, that is when they now turned it a new, because they know the power of Israel, so they don't want to change the name, but instead, still using the name Israel, they look, they, they feel also like an imposter, so they have to make it the new nation of Israel. If there is a new nation of Israel, what happened to the old nation of Israel? Because the, the Jews have been forced out of their land. We've been scattered abroad according to what the Bible says. Well, I have to hand on this Lord. I will definitely continue to make research. Any information I get, I will share with you. Remember, the Bible wants, God wants us to fight the racist system on our knees. Not by any other means. We've gone to justice system, we've demonstrated, we've done all kinds of things, we've hated, we've been bitter, we've been angry. It's not changing anything. A system is established. It's a demonic, a satanic system. The racist system is a satanic system established against God's own people, the Melanie Jews. If my people who are called by my name would humble themselves, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, God says, I will hear from heaven. I will heal. I will hear from Abel. I will heal their land. He would listen to us and heal our land. And when our land is healed, then we can go back to the nation of Israel, which is our own land. Thank you for listening to me today. And remember, as I always say, the greatest weapon in the hands of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed. So, as I always say, face your fears, elevate your mind, and resist every temptation to panic. Thank you for listening to me, and I'll see you in my next vlog. And remember to join me on Melanin and Harbinoid Live. Not Melanin and Arbinoid. Melanin and Arbinoid has been stolen from me. As I said, I've been under persecution, and they have actually been trying to take down all my social network. My social network is continuously under attack. My Facebook still exists physically, but I cannot reach it. I've called Facebook that, okay, if I cannot reach my Facebook account, I want to get rid of it, but they just Put it there because or no, they know they unjustfully locked it. They don't want the message of the racist system to be um to be held there. So my website is Melanin and Albinoid Live. I have lost Melanin and Albinoid. It's no longer mine. Melanin and Albinoid is no longer mine. Don't subscribe there. Don't go there. Don't visit. Don't encourage them. My website is with life at the end, just like the, the blog, Melanin and Harbinoid Live. I have lost Melanin and Harbinoid. Melanin and Harbinoid Live is my new website. Thank you for listening to me, and I will see you in my next blog against the uh, uh, discussing other things about the racist system, also the gang stalking program, and the general abuse of humanity. Thank you for listening to me. I am Lady Abimbola, and I'll see you. Thank you, and God bless you.